After reaching level 48, Gabite evolves into its final form, becoming the pseudo-legendary Pokemon Garchomp. When it comes to the appearance changes upon evolution, the summary is simple. Everything gets longer. The body is longer, the neck is longer, the tail is longer, the limbs are longer, the fins are longer, and even the claws are longer. Essentially, take Gabite, stretch everything out, and add a few spiky details to the arms, and you have Garchomp. The head of Garchomp undergoes a notable transformation. It becomes shorter and broader on the sides, and of course, the two float-like or horn-like features remain, making Garchomp resemble a hammerhead shark. The forehead is also rounded instead of sharp like its pre-evolutions and gets a golden highlight, giving Garchomp a more regal and menacing appearance fitting for a powerful, pseudo-legendary Pokémon. One of Garchomp's most surprising traits is its newfound ability to fly, and not just fly fly at incredible speeds rivaling a jet plane. With a 600-point base stat total, Garchomp boasts a speed stat of 102, making it the second-fastest pseudo-legendary. Can you guess which pseudo-legendary is the fastest? However, Garchomp's real strength lies in its attack stat, which stands at 130, enough to place it among the top attackers in the pseudo-legendary group. With speed at 102 and attack at 130, Having Garchomp in your team makes clearing the game feel effortless. Another improvement upon evolution is that Garchomp gains access to the move Crunch, depending on the generation, addressing the earlier complaint about its inability to learn biting moves. Unfortunately, Garchomp still cannot learn Earthquake naturally. To use this signature ground-type move, trainers must rely on TM or TR. Without it, Bulldoze or Dig are your only options, which is a shame considering even Diglett can learn Earthquake naturally. Abilities. Garchomp's abilities are somewhat lackluster. It has Sand Veil, which increases evasion during sandstorms, but this ability is highly situational. Rough Skin, which damages opponents upon physical contact, is better, but it doesn't significantly impact Garchomp's primary role as an offensive powerhouse. Despite these quirks, Garchomp is still a formidable Pokémon with an excellent move pool, making it a solid choice for gameplay. With speed over 100, incredible attack, and access to Swords Dance, Garchomp excels as a heavy-duty sweeper. However, it's vital to address its glaring 4x weakness to Ice, especially with Ice Beam being so prevalent in the current meta. One major missed opportunity for Garchomp is its inability to learn Dragon Dance. <laughs> Dance. This move, which boosts speed and attack by one stage, could have transformed Garchomp into an unstoppable force. However, the developers have denied this possibility, leaving Garchomp as a high damage but moderately paced Pokémon reliant on teammates with Tailwind or Max Airstream to reach its full potential. Recommended Build To optimize Garchomp's damage output, invest fully in attack. Earthquake is a mandatory move, paired with Rock Slide and Outrage. Equip it with a Life Orb to maximize damage. Protect is also valuable in double battles to allow teammates to set up supportive moves like Tailwind. For a free-to-play moveset, consider Bulldoze for speed reduction, Crunch for defense debuffs, Dig for evasion, and Sandstorm to capitalize on Sand Veil. Mega Garchomp. Uh, Mega Garchomp showcases its terrifying strength through its massive 170 attack stat, the highest among pseudo-legendaries, and one of the top 10 attack stats overall. Uh, it's on par with Zacian's attack, making Mega Garchomp's scythe-like arms as deadly as Zacian's sword. However, Mega Evolution brings an unexpected downside. Garchomp's speed drops from 102 to 92, likely to reflect its bulkier grounded design. While its special attack rises to 120, allowing it to utilize moves like, like Draco Meteor and Flamethrower to counter ice types, this trade-off makes Mega Garchomp feel clunky. With Sand Force as its new ability, Mega Garchomp thrives in Sandstorm teams. Still, this setup requires significant effort to maximize its potential. Most trainers prefer using a standard Garchomp with a Choice Scarf for better speed control. Closing thoughts. Um, that's our exploration of the Sinnoh pseudo-legendary Pokémon Garchomp. Um, what, are, what are your thoughts on this Pokémon? Do you agree with our assessment, or do you have additional insights? Share your opinions in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next one. GG, everyone.